Um, so for this exercise, I'm going to use um, two pattern-based families. So I'm going to use generic model pattern-based. And I'm going to create first a grid on this pattern on this panel. So first we need a surface. So these four points can define my surface. So I can just select the reference lines and create a form. And I don't want it to be extruded. I just want it to be a surface. And then after I have the surface, I can divide it. And the division, I want it to be 6 by 6. Okay. So then I want to create some patches here and create some sort of a repeating uh, tracer work. Uh, so let's go ahead and activate our surface nodes. Those are my nodes. And what I want to do now is to create a new pattern based family and then bring it here. Actually, use an adaptive component. Yeah. So I'm going to create an adaptive component. Uh, let's go. Let's go to Revit New Family. And this is generic model adaptive. But what I want is actually pretty much the same thing. So I can use another copy of the same rectangular pattern. So I'll just open this one. And here I'm just going to model the block. Okay. So I'll just select this form again. Select these reference lines and create a form. But this time it's going to be a simple extrusion. And I want to create a parameter for this extrusion. So right now the positive offset is 4 and I want to assign a parameter there. Let's call it height and it can be a type parameter. And let's save this one as uh, tracery patch. Uh, tr let's call it tracery block. Save it. And I want to load this into the new family that I've created and when you bring it in if you go to create component you can start placing this on this uh, model and the one of the best ways to place it would be on your floor plan so if I go back here go to create component what I need is to create kind of a patch that looks like that okay so maybe I start here, go here, and then as I'm doing it, it will preview to me how it's going to look like. So then I can place another one here like this. Actually, uh, let me change, let me make it a little bit more different. So let's say this is This looks like the same. No, that's not it. I think it was five by five. Uh, let's let's try it again. So I go create component, and I'm gonna start here. Place one patch there, and then place this guy here. and you have to go in the order that those points are created so if I if I create one wrong it, it's also previewing it to me so I go to create component so I have to click them in the order and you need to make sure that the panel is looking perpendicular and this one is let's say like that
I think I got the pattern wrong somehow. Okay, 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 okay. Let me do it again. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's go. Let's create component. I think this is six by six, so let's do it six by six again. And I think I need to change the angles. It needs to look slightly distorted. So from here to there to here and to here. Then I go from here to there to here. Yeah, I think this was it. Yep. And then here I go like this. And then here I go create component like that. Yeah, this was it. Alright, so let's look at it in 3D. Uh, these are the bad ones so let's get rid of them and what I need to do is create a height parameter and set it to them or uh, I can actually select one of these tiles and then lower the height like this and this is pretty much done so I'll just save it as tracery um, patch and let's go back to our project file yeah and create a new surface here and this could be just flat surface so I'll just go to massing and site in place mass and create a simple extrusion let's say like that create form I created on level 2. Let's go to level 1. In place mass and then I want to place a rectangular mass here like this. Create form. Let's look at it in 3D. So I want to use that uh, patch here on the surface. So I'll just select it and again I'm going to subdivide it edit in place edit the surface and let's go to divide surface options and I want it to be kind of a nice uh, rectangular grid so the vertical lines should be more so let's make it 18 let's make it 20 uh, horizontals let's make them 10 so this is pretty much uh, gonna work and let's activate the notes again so I go to surface representation nodes I'm done with the mass setup so let's go back to our tile and load it into our project go to 3d view edit in place select the surface and go to create component and the component is already there so all I have to do is just place one on this corner and then um, I select the form and go to modify and repeat now it will tessellate the thing for me okay and if I want to change the height of this I could just select one of these blocks and I can specify a height here so if I want them to be thinner I could just change one and since it's a type property it will just adjust all of them okay so that's second one 